A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field. The one who finds it buries it again. And so happy is he that he goes and sells everything he has in order to buy that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a trader who is looking for fine pearls. Once he has found a pearl of exceptional quality, he goes away, sells everything he has, and buys it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a big fishing net, let it down into the sea, in which every kind of fish has been caught. When the net is full, it is dragged ashore. Then they sit down and gather the good fish into buckets and throw the bad away. That is how it will be at the end of time. The angels will go out to separate the wicked from the just and to throw the wicked into blazing furnace where they will weep and gnash their teeth. Jesus asked, Have you understood all these things? Yes, they answered. So he said to them, Therefore, every teacher of the law who becomes a disciple of the kingdom of heaven is like a householder who can produce from his store things both new and old. The Gospel of the Lord Both parables of the hidden treasure and the merchant who sold the pearl are about discovery, joy, and action. The merchant enthusiastically searches for pearls, while the other looks for treasures in the field. Both recognize the great value of their discovery and sold everything to be able to pay for it. In either case appear signs of sacrificing, giving up something valuable in terms of making a difficult decision. They did not bother to sell all they had, for they were bursting with joy because of the discovery and the prospect of owning such treasure. They resembled the disciples, who surrendered everything to follow Jesus, and Paul, who saw everything else as a loss, after discovering Christ. They were not like the wealthy young man who went away sadly because he was unable to part with his many possessions. There are two lessons to be learned here. One is what the gospel calls for us. Grace is not free but entails action. We cannot vacillate, try to serve two masters. None will get the treasure if they are not willing to pay the price. The second is that excitement and not a duty that drives these people to action. They didn't sell everything to buy the treasure because they had to, but because their hearts demanded it. In sharing the gospel, we do well emphasize joy, preaching good news instead of bad news. Condemnation convinced few. Calls to duty are often ignored. On the other hand, the call to rejoice make us want to respond.